What's up guys, this is Carl from Vox Box Design and we're going to be creating this background image today. First thing you want to do is right click on your desktop, go screen resolution and note down your screen resolution because you do not want any distorted images because it's very unprofessional and it looks very horrible when you see it on your page. So what you want to go ahead and do now is note that down, press OK, go to Photoshop, go File, New, make sure the width is 1920, height is 1080 or what you have just noted down as your uh, desktop resolution. Make sure the resolution is 300 pixels per inch because that is the best quality possible for anything really so it makes it look a lot better. Press OK. Now in the description I've supplied you with a folder called Retro Linen Texture Background. Now it it contains a finished PNG which we're going to create and you also have source files. Now inside the source files you'll see is a Photoshop file called Stars a font type called Lobster 1.4 and a picture called 1. So now we're going to go into Photoshop and go into the uh, foreground colour. Now in the foreground colour we're going to um, call it or name it C7 C2 BB. It's a grey colour. Now caress OK and do use the paint, book, paint bucket tool to colour it in. Double click on the background to unlock it and double click on the background again to open the layer style. Now once we're in the layer style we're going to go ahead and do an inner glow make sure it's color burn. Opacity is only going to be 45% on this one make sure it's 0% noise and the color is going to be black. Make sure the technique is softer, uh, soft, softer with a source of an edge 0% choke and the size is actually going to be 250 pixels. Make sure it is contour with anti-lias and 50% range with 0% jitter. Now we're going to do is gradient overlay. Gradient overlay is going to be blend mode of overlay. Opacity is going to be 17% with a gradient of black to white and it's going to be aligned with layer. Make sure the style is linear and 90% angle with 100% scale. Now we're going to do pattern overlay. Go on to blend mode of overlay once again. Opacity is going to be 50%. Make sure the pattern is going to be this one right here. It's called Gauze. All supplied in Photoshop. Nothing I've downloaded. It's actually called Gauze. G-A-U-Z-E. Make sure the opacity is 50% like I said. And scale is 100% and it's going to be linked with the layer. Now once that's done you're going to press OK. And now what we're going to go ahead and do is press File, Open, and you're going to go into the source files of the uh, file of the folder I've supplied for you, and open the one, open the uh, JPEG file one. Now it is actually a pancake. I did download it. It was a pancake. It looks like a really good texture to use on Photoshop files, but it is a pancake. I'm not going to lie, but you know. Anyway, <laughs> drag it on, and pop it in there. Now you want to drag it to a good size. You don't want it too big. You don't want it too small but make sure it's a good size for this manipulation so once it, once you've got a good size for it you're going to press OK now you're going to change the blend mode to overlay with an opacity of 25% now what we're going to go ahead and do is make a new layer fill it with black by selecting the foreground color as back, black and going to the paint bucket tool and pressing on the image then we're going to go on to filter, noise, add noise and you want the amount to be 400% with distribution of Gaussian and monochromatic is going to be ticked. Once you press OK you're going to change the blend mode to overlay with the opacity of only 15%. That gives us the final background image. Now once we've done the final background image we're going to go ahead and make the text on the, the background image. Now my text is going to be called Vox Box Design. Now you want to install the um, in the source files you're going to want to install the Lobster 1.4. Now if you don't know how to do that you go on Start, Control Panel, Image and Personalization, Appearance and Personalization even and go to fonts. Now you want to go ahead and go to the Lobster 1.4 and drag it and drop it into the fonts folder. It'll install it and you can see it on Photoshop. So it's called Lobster 
Let's see if I can find it. There we go. Now, my text is a bit offish right now, so I'm going to go ahead and change the distance between the text. It's going to be 17. Then I'm going to change the style of it to make it a bit bigger. I'm going to make it massive. Make sure it's in the center. And then what we're going to go ahead and do is make sure the color of it by double clicking on the uh, double clicking on the text file and go into this little color panel here and in the color panel we're going to we're going to have the color 765555 it's a burgundy color and what we're going to go ahead and do with this is double click on the um, the text layer and we're going to go for an inner shadow make sure it's linear burn Make sure it's black with 20% opacity, 120 degrees using global light, 2% 2 pixels distance with 0% choke, and the uh, size is going to be 7 pixels. And you want it to be console with anti alias ticked, and then you want 0% noise. Now we're going to go on to bevel and emboss. Bevel and emboss, you're going to have style of outer bevel. Technique is smooth with 100% depth going downwards and you want the size to be 4 pixels with 0 pixel soften 120 degrees using pixel light with 30 degrees in that as well now you want the gloss contour is uh, going to be ticked um, and you want to make sure the anti alias is, um, is ticked with that as well Then you want the highlight mode to be linear dodge add with 20% opacity. Make sure the shadow mode is linear burn and opacity is going to be for that is going to be 55%. Then you want gradient overlay. Make sure the blend mode is overlay with 12% opacity. Make sure the gradient is black to white. Make sure it's the style is linear and the align with the layer is ticked with 90 degree angle and 100% scale. Then we're going to do pattern overlay. Make sure the blend mode again is overlay. Opacity is only going to be 25% on this one. And the pattern we're going to use on it is once again, it's not going to be gauze, but we're going to be using the one to the right of it called heavy weave. All supplied with Photoshop. Make sure the scale is 100% and the link with layer is ticked. And that is the Voxbox Design um, title finished. So what we're going to go ahead and do now is go on to File, Open, and open the Stars Photoshop image. Now on here you're going to want to find the Vector Smart object of this star right here. Drag and drop into your file. Now I'm going to go ahead and spin it to make sure it's in straight make sure it's cent uh, central and once it's central you'll want to go ahead and double click on the object so get up the layer styles now what you want to go ahead and do is make sure you've got a color overlay with blend mode normal and the color is going to be 5e 5D, 5A. That's a grey colour once again. And you want to change the opacity to about 45%. Now with that you want to go ahead and give it an inner shadow. With linear burn. As the blend mode. And opacity is only going to be 20%. Angle is going to be 120% using global light. Make sure the distance is 1%. Or one pixels using 0% choke and the size is going to be 4 pixels. Make sure the contour and make sure the anti alias is ticked with 0% noise. Now you want bevel and emboss, make sure it's an outer bevel. Smooth technique with a depth of 100% going downwards with size 2 pixels with 0 pixels soften. 120 degree using global light, 30 degree altitude. Now you want the glass contour not ticked. Make sure the highlight mode is linear dodge add. Opacity is 20% with shadow mode linear burn. Make sure the color is black. Opacity is 55%. Now 
Now you want to do, gonna go, go ahead and do a gradient overlay with blend mode overlay, 12% opacity gradient going black to white, style is linear, and make sure align with layer is ticked, 90% angle with 100%. Now you want to go ahead and do a pattern overlay, make sure the blend mode is overlay, make sure the opacity is 25% and the pattern is going to again, again you're going to be weave, the heavy weave. Scale is 100% with link with layer. Press OK. Now what you want to go ahead and do is right click on this smart vector object, duplicate layer, press OK. Shift it to the side slightly and shrink it ever so slightly and pop it in the center. With the one you just created, duplicate that layer and put it the other side of the larger star. Once you've done that, you want to go ahead and make another text layer. Type in your slogan. Highlight it, make sure the font is a condensed font. Make sure it's definitely condensed. I'm going to use Lingureno condensed. Then I'm going to change the distance between them. Right here at the moment it is 10. And I drag it to a suitable size. You want it to be quite spaced out. Shift it to the center underneath the stars. Now what you want to go ahead and do is click on the smart vector object, right click, go on copy layer style and paste layer style on your text. You are now finished and you can put it onto your desktop image. Thank you for watching guys, please leave a like and comment if you'd like to leave some feedback on this image. Please submit your image that you created on my Facebook and Twitter page. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you on the next one.